Hey, I'm Mr. Parka, and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on the movie called Deadbeat at Dawn. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's directed by Jim Van Beber. This movie follows Goose, the leader of this gang called the Ravens, and he wants to get out of the criminal life, and he wants to have a normal life with his girlfriend Christy, the love of his life. So he wants to get out of it, and he does, and then his girlfriend gets killed, and after that his life just sort of like spirals from there and slowly the life of the gang gets back into his life and now he wants to get revenge for Christie's death this movie I've heard of before I've heard people talk about it I've heard of Jim Van Beber and um, if I'm saying that right I believe I am uh, again horrible name pronunciation I'm almost horrible at pronouncing the name the word pronunciation um, but I went into this never seen a trailer not knowing anything about it and I'll be honest I was blown away uh, this movie was fantastic it's a low budget do-it-yourself kind of film uh, Jim was attending college at the time and he was there on a loan and he took the remainder of his loan and quit and he finished the rest of the, with the rest of the money and finished this film. He shot some of it in college and then took the rest of it, like ten thousand dollars of it, and finished this film. And you know, it's it's a movie with gangs, obviously, because it's the Ravens against the Spiders. And the Spiders, uh, I believe the main guy is Donnie or Danny, uh, but he is a son of a bitch. <laughs> He's a son of a bitch in this movie. In fact, that whole gang is everybody is even even uh, Goose can be kind of a an asshole, but uh, everybody is a um, a character I should say in this. Like uh, you you like Goose, you feel bad for him, but then he does some shit, and you're like, well, maybe he's not that great a guy. But then you know you you go back to feeling bad for him again. It was first shown in 1988, so this is its 30th anniversary, and Jim has put out, you know, a few films since then, uh, and I haven't seen any of them, to be honest. And now, seeing this, I definitely want to. I'm glad I started off with this. This is considered a cult classic, and inspired a lot of people, especially in the Dayton, Ohio, area which is where he's from and it's funny I didn't realize that's where he was from and uh, a lot of the movies that I have reviewed from people uh, are from Dayton Ohio then and I didn't realize that's where they probably got their inspiration from because he's considered like the first one to film a movie from Dayton Ohio and uh, even watching the special features I seen some of the people that were in some of the movies I reviewed in one of his newer movies that he was starting to do or like uh, like a video that he was doing and so it was like wow it's like all connected it's just it's just crazy how years later people that I knew before I knew heard of him are in his movies now and people who were in his movies from back then I saw in newer movies now like for instance, I can't think of his last name. His name is Jeff, and I know he is in uh, Babysitter Massacre. He's in a lot of uh, Henry Couto's movies, and um, I had no idea he was in any of the other movies. So now I want to see the other movies that he was in of of uh, Jim Van Bevers. I want to see them too. Um, I'm really I'm talking the movie up, but like I'm serious. I want to see it, and this I want to see other stuff from him. And this is cleaned up, you know, obviously it's, it looks better than a, than a VHS, obviously. But I want to see the VHS, and even though this is cleaned up, it still has that grittiness to it. And I'm not talking, you know, quality-wise, I'm talking feeling-wise. Like, it looks dirty, they, they, there's just something about the movie, like, it, it, may, it looks dirty like you want to clean the people in it they look f dirty you know they're almost convincing that they're a gang it has a, a kind of a it has a feel to it and I can't really describe that feeling 
you have to see it for yourself but I I, I it has a lot of rewatchability and like it's weird but as soon as I got done watching it I wanted to watch it again it doesn't happen very often anymore which is sad but I loved it I love this movie and I'll be honest this is probably my favorite thing one of my favorite things at least that Arrow has put out in a long time like there's been some awesome releases you know I've put my reviews in and you know box sets and stuff but ones that I've never heard of before and and finally got to watch this, this was a, a, an, a, a such a great surprise and uh, I really wish I would have heard of this sooner and uh, even the special features is there's uh, a lot of good special features on here too there's uh, what's it called it's a uh, diary of a deadbeat the story of Jim Van Bever uh, watch you know watch the whole thing for that it's so interesting it just this this is so worth buying is even if you haven't ever heard of him and like I said it's not horror if anybody watching this and I didn't say it was horror obviously but there is practical effects in here there's throat ripping there's fingers getting shot off there's uh, ninja stars going through skulls there's like guts getting ripped out there's heads getting ripped off there is a lot of violence in this and over the top gore I would say over the top gore there's enough gore in here I think that would satisfy any any uh, but he's hunger for that kind of stuff like it was a pleasant surprise uh, and it was actually well acted and I enjoyed it like a lot like I was not bored at all through this whole movie and really enjoyed it and again I watched it with captions on and it worked out very well now that I probably convinced you to buy the movie and I'm done sucking its dick uh, I'll show you what's in the director's approved special edition contents all right there you go you could check out what's on here if you want to pause it you can one thing that this has that again I hope they start doing this more often they did it with the with 12 monkeys recently and now they're doing with this as a slip cover they used to do this more often but they haven't done it for a while for some reason uh, they have a slip cover here with the newly commissioned artwork by Peter strain which looks really cool and here's the newly commissioned artwork. Like I said, Peter Strain did this. I think it looks good. Uh, seeing the movie, you appreciate it more because you know who people are. And the reversed artwork is this. It's not really a reverse that, you know, I guess you could obviously reverse and put that there, but it's not really meant to uh, be reversed. But that's what the inside looks like. And then on the inside here we have the booklet and we have a Blu-ray which is region A, B, and C. And then like I said here is the booklet with some different artwork on it. And then on the inside you have, you know, like I said, the contents. And then here's some stories about Van Bever, you know, behind the scenes production credits, you know, stuff like that. Other things about his films, some uh, movie stills and stuff like that about the transfer special thanks and there is the back also the guy who plays his father in this movie does a fantastic part he's just like uh, crazy kind of uh, vet and he kind of goes back and forth he thinks he's back in the war and uh, he's kind of a drug addict as well and uh, he is in there drinking his beer and uh, Van Bever is and uh, he comes in and he's like freaking out on on goose he's freaking out on him saying about like i didn't invite no punk in here to drink my beer that's my beer and he's screaming at him that's my last beer who t it was i i mean i'm not doing it justice the part but it was so funny but it was it was just so crazy and the kid took it so he's like dad calm down snap out of it you know like that and uh it, but it was just done so well and they interview him as well in the documentary and, and uh he seems like a, a nice guy to to talk to like he'll just sit down and tell you oh yeah this happened on the set and i'll talk you know just seemed like a nice guy like i'd want to i would like to sit down and talk with him and he seems like a guy you'd get along with very well but anyway about the movie uh if i haven't convinced you by now you know too bad you better go watch this movie honestly uh it's definitely worth it the vhs like i said i want to get the vhs it can be pricey so 
either trade your way to it, buy it on eBay if you have the money, or search for it out there in the world. Or if you don't collect VHS, buy this right here. It's you know, it looks nice, sounds nice, and there's a lot of special features on here. So that's it everybody thanks for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that little notification bell if you're interested in purchasing this purchasing this i'll put a link below in the description box also a link where you can check out the trailer for this and also some links where you can check out other places uh, for me on the internet so that's it, everybody thanks for watching talk to you later bye